Uh, good morning, 6M. Here you are today working from home. And so I wanted to make a quick little morning video for you, just kind of explaining uh, what I want you to work on today. But uh, hey, as always, before we begin anything, let's go ahead and pray. So please join me in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll offer up your prayers and your intentions today to the Lord, and we'll pray together our classroom prayer. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. St. Pius X, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, so here we go. Today, uh, while you're working from home, I got four different tasks for you. The first thing is you're going to use your Chromebooks. You're going to log on to the computer today, and you're going to go to our Google Classroom. And so I have it pulled up for you here on the screen so you can kind of see how to navigate. We, we know how to use this thing, but I'll walk you through it. If you go to Classwork at the top, I'll change it back to 6M. Go to Classwork at the top. And the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see that I kind of revamped a little bit um, the website. So I have religion class for Tuesday, October 13th. That's today. Okay. I have a little note for you here at the top. And so if you click on that, it collapses it and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions of the four different tasks that I want you to tackle today. So you can navigate that with the little sidebar here. Um, but I want you to tackle the RQD. After the RQD, I want you to tackle the vocabulary quiz number four and click on that and access that via your Chromebook. Remember, no notes, and I'm trusting you on this one. Task number three, complete and submit a conference reflection form. You'll see that here in a moment. And then uh, number four, I want you to practice your 46 books of the Old Testament. So you have that test coming up here, and we'll talk about that here briefly as well. Okay, so just reread through my notes, and then you'll notice there's some calendar updates at the bottom as well, and we'll talk about those. All right, task one, two, three, and four, all listed right here, okay? Here's your RQD, there's your student conference reflection form, and you got your religion vocabulary quiz right there for you, and your 46 books of the Old Testament. You click on each, there's some instructions, kind of walks you through it a little bit as well, okay? The RQD for today uh, is about an amazing young man who I want to introduce you to. He's a, uh, now a blessed of our church. He was just beatified this past Saturday. And his story is really tremendous. So you'll notice there's a, a link for you to, to meet this young man and to watch a little video. And then we have our RQD check-in here and then our RQD extension uh, below that. So you can check those out. Okay, so that would be task number uh, one for you. Task number two then is gonna be for you to fill out this, uh, this next one is to fill out this religion conference reflection sheet. Since we're doing parent-teacher conferences, it's always good for us to pause as well and just kind of think about how we're doing on things here at school and religion class. So I'd like you to log on and to complete this student conference reflection form today as well, okay? After that, uh, again, your task is gonna to be to take the religion vocabulary number four test or quiz. Uh, this will pop up at about 8.15, so it won't be there probably at the beginning of this video if you log on first thing in the morning. But at 8.15, it'll appear. You can click on it and access it. And it uh, shouldn't allow you to use any of your other tabs or anything like that. And again, notes need to be put away. So this is an honest reflection of what we know. So uh, I expect us to follow that guideline. Thank you. And then task number four, at the very bottom, opportunity for you to practice your books of the Bible. Um, I'm moving this test. This test was originally going to be yesterday or tomorrow, excuse me, and I'm moving it to next Wednesday, October 21st. That is the day that you guys come back to school. And so just a heads up that when you come back to school, I am going to give you that assessment. Uh, I want that assessment to be done in person. It's very important that it is. I don't, I don't really feel comfortable doing it uh, virtually, at least at this point. So please make sure to be practicing, practicing that each day uh, between now and next Wednesday, okay? And then I also set a date uh, for your upcoming vocabulary test. So I know we've taken all four quizzes that we need to take, or we will have at the end of today. Um, so I want us looking forward now to our big test over that information. And so as you can see here, I've set it for Tuesday, October 27th, which seems like it's a ways off. Uh, we got a couple weeks here to tackle that one, but still 
you need to be practicing this. This will be different than the quizzes. It won't be just here's the definition, identify uh, you know, the vocab word. You're gonna have to know these words, you're gonna have to know these definitions. So it's very, very important that you practice writing out the definitions. So plenty of time to get ready for it if you use this time well. So uh, uh, the expectation is that you're practicing the vocabulary daily as well, okay? And as always, I put my email on my little note so that you can uh, reach out to me if you have any questions today, okay? All right, certainly miss getting to be with you. You uh, will certainly be in my prayers today, uh, but let me know if you have any questions, and I look forward to seeing you again. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.